if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Go ahead and take a look around and see if you like anything. Cool, thanks. Yeah, I'll take a look around. I've never been in a curiosity shop before. This is uh, some weird stuff in here, man. Oh, yes. We have a wide range of oddities and curious relics. In fact, this right here is a shrunken head from the Agua Runa tribe in Ecuador. It's very rare. Oh, man, that's messed up. Ah, oh, it's so little. How do they do that? Is that a pig in a jar over there? A two-headed pig. <laughs> wow, for real? It's crazy. What's the craziest thing you have here in the shop? Like, what sets you apart from all the other places? Ah, uh, yes, I do have something. A magic bucket. Well, what's it do? Well, whatever you put into the magic bucket will come to life. What? No. You're making that up. Are you calling me a liar? Well, no, not exactly. It's just kind of hard to believe, honestly. Uh, alright. I guess I'll have to prove it to you. I'll go get Karen. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, who's Karen? Does she work here, too? Uh, it's a he, and not exactly. He's, well... I'll let you meet him. This is Karen. Karen, say hi to this friendly customer. Hey there, how's it going? Wow, amazing. You're a talking teddy bear. Wait, I've seen talking toys before. This is just like technology, man. No, he came to life by putting him in that stupid bucket. It was my wife's, ex-wife's teddy bear. This little bear's basically ruined my life. How so? Okay, okay. Don't be so dramatic. We joke around like that, me and him. It's always like, uh, ah, oh, you ruined my life, and, uh, why did you change your name to my ex-wife's name? It's too painful all the time. <laughs> That's just how we joke. This is so weird, talking to a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I'm a bear. I talk, I sing, I dance, I burn stuff, I tell jokes. What's that? The hardest thing about being a teddy bear, Mike, is that I can't reach anything, and my brain is stuffing. You can't expect me to not jam things in all the drains, turn the water on, causing your house to flood, causing thousand dollars of damage. Nah, man, my brain is stuffing, Mike. Uh, my name's Pete. And that was just one of the many things he's done to ruin me. I regret the day I brought you to life. You destroyed everything. Whoa, whoa, see how we joke? He'll say things like, don't throw all the food from the refrigerator out the window into the street. Don't invite hobos into the apartment. Don't spill wine on my Gam Gam's quilt. Jeez, bro, I'm thinking of stuff in here, Mike. Yeah, uh, it's Pete. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. When I told him I took all the money out of the bank, put it in an airplane, flew that airplane into a mountain, jumping out and parachuting to safety, he was so understanding, he just laughed it off. What? You did, you did what? Oh, I didn't tell you. Hey, that's the stuffing, bro. I... Oh, I don't. So you live around here, Mike? Is it walking distance? Yeah, I gotta go. Alright, alright. Go make me a sandwich. <laughs>